right, so today we switched out our battery because we were starting to get some battery indications. The battery was getting low. So we swapped it out to the uh, OE rated battery with its uh, same levels and everything. It's not an OE battery, it's a Duralast, I think. But it all matches up on everything, on its amp hours and all that. So we want to get this one registered. Now we got a new one in, and we're going to do that with INPA. So it's really simple. You almost don't even know that you do it. But you got to start with the key in the ignition and then you turn the car on but you don't put your foot on the pedal. And so just it's lit up so it just says ignition switch is on. And so we're going to go back over here to uh, IMPA and what we want to do is select our car. So this 650, we want to move down here and pick up the F4. And then we want to go to engine. And then we want to pick our engine, the N62. And it's going to give some errors. And then we want to go to read status, which is F5. And then we got to pick this power management over here. So you got to do a shift and then the F2 button. And it takes you over here to this one. So this is your PM. And then our battery registration is F5. And so what we want to do is click the button for F5. That's a battery change. Boop. And it says OK. So it has performed the battery registration for you. Assuming that you're swapping out the same amp hour rating and everything for the OE battery. All right. So we just registered our battery. Now let's go back. And we want to go to our analog values. So let's go to, I think it's F4. Yeah, so it, nope, that's the engine roughness. Let's go to F3. There we go. So that tells us right now our car's not running and our brand new battery is pushing right at 12 volts. So we'll put our foot on the pedal and we'll start the car. And we'll watch that voltage go up. <laughs> see now the battery is good and so when it first starts up it starts up kind of a slow charge it's not really hitting it really hard and then it easily works its way up to the 14 so it changes as the battery gets older and uh, that progression should change as it goes up but you can see that our alternator is still running good and we're pushing about 14.8 off this brand new battery so everything should be good and then as it continues to uh, run then it'll start dropping that voltage down as to not overcharge the battery so there you go quick and simple how to register your battery with INPA and uh, we'll have this battery last us just a little bit longer not being overcharged by the intelligent battery system control alrighty well thanks for watching